This is the Spirit and Wellness Show. News and information from a higher perspective. With your host, Harry Wilkinson. Yes, hello, this is your host, Harry Wilkinson, and welcome to the Spirit and Wellness Show. This is the show where we take a, a look at the days and weeks events happenings in the world, happenings in politics, happenings internationally, happenings in uh, the, the realms of science and technology, everything that we interact with or hear about uh, on a daily basis throughout our week, and we take a look at it from a higher perspective. And what I mean by a higher perspective uh, is from a perspective of, uh, well, you can call it a metaphysical perspective. and. Uh, I'll talk to you about that in a second. Um, it is the idea that as spiritual beings, and I submit that we are spiritual beings, uh, as well as having uh, a material presence as well, but that we create all of these things that we experience uh, as, as a material reality. And that at the same time as we are creating them and experiencing them, we are also on an entirely different level uh, aware of, maybe dimly aware of, but aware of the idea that these are creations. And these are not the truth and essence of who and what we really are, but uh, aspects of it. And that ultimately we are part of a oneness, part of a divine mind, uh, which is, as I say, creating all of this uh, purely for experiential uh, means. And the more aware that we are, the more that we go into these situations, which at first we might think have a, you know, a very, very objective reality right in our face. But the more we go into them and start to understand and even proclaim the truth about them, that they are our creations, that they are not truly real, the more that we are able to become aware of that and understand it and believe it, the more conscious our ability to create becomes. So we begin to create in the world, we can begin to create in the world, those things that uh, are more closely aligned with, with our truth. Not sure if that's making any sense to a lot of people, but uh, I, I've gotten a response, and this is what I wanted to talk to you uh, or say about the idea of metaphysics, because it's something I talk about a lot. So, uh, particularly in the opening when I'm talking about uh, what a higher perspective means, and I mentioned from a metaphysical perspective, and uh, I've gotten responses from listeners who've been listening for a while, uh, you know, asking, well, well, what do you, you mean, mean by that? that? What do you mean by metaphysics? That's a pretty broad term. And I've got to hand it to you. You're absolutely right. I mean, that is, to, to throw that out there. Uh, is, uh, you know, without qualifying it or, or at least honing in on it a little bit more, really is, is uh, doesn't add much to the meaning of it. It sort of, uh, it, it, it more kind of makes it more fuzzy than it does clarify. So I thought I'd take a moment to talk about what I mean <laughs> when I'm talking about metaphysics, because metaphysics is, is a huge uh, uh, philosophy with a history uh, that spans human existence, and uh, within the context of different disciplines, including science and religion and philosophy, has different manifestations. Uh, so, when you say metaphysics, you are opening a door to something that is, is truly complex. Um, but what I'm going to focus in on is uh, 
metaphysics as as it has to do with uh, mind and matter, because that's one aspect of metaphysics. And the idea, the basis of the exploration, which is what metaphysics is, it's an, a, a, basically an exploration of what is, what is reality, what is it made up of, how does it get here, who are we really, why are we here, all of those things. So in looking at matter and mind, the basis of metaphysics is this uh, conflict between dualism and monism. Dualism means that there's two parts to you. There's the mind, or the mental part of you, and the physical. And monism says, no, no, no. There's one substance from which everything emerges. That's just bottom lining it very simplistically. Um, but I'm going to uh, delve into this for just a minute. Uh, the nature of mind and its relation to the body has been seen as more of a problem as science has pro progressed in its mechanistic understanding of the brain and body. So, Rene Descartes proposed substance dualism, a theory in which mind and matter are essentially different, with the mind having some of the attributes traditionally associated to the soul. And this, is, this creates a conceptual puzzle about how the two interact. So there's this idea of a close relationship to the brain and the mind and mind and matter. And uh, this dualism, which was you know, quite popular, you know, proposed by Rene Descartes, that's, that's why they ca call it Cartesian. It's from Rene Descartes, uh, a very famous uh, philosopher. As increasingly, dualism has lost favor in uh, as the concept of monism has increased. The idea of there being one single universal substance from which everything sort of derives. Okay? So... What generally now when we talk about, um, you know, metaphysics, uh, with dualism losing sort of its uh, with, with dualism sort of losing its uh, deals with this mind-body problem. And the idea of idealism, <clears throat> and this is uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, championed by people like George Berkeley, uh, another, he's another philosopher. Idealists claim that material objects do not exist unless perceived and only as perceptions. Uh, and there were other German idealists like Hegel and Schopenhauer, uh, and even Kant, uh, uh, as sort of a, a, a founding father of this idea. Uh, idealism is a pretty common theme in Eastern philosophy. So, generally when people are referring to metaphysics, and, and I fall into this category for sure when we talk about metaphysics, we're often talking about some of the ideas of Eastern philosophy. including some of the ideas uh, that are part of uh, some indigenous belief systems, uh, such as Native Americans, um, where you have ideas like panpsychism and pan-experientialism that say everything has a mind. And 
some say everything exists within a mind. So, a scientific worldview that sort of incorporates metaphysics is increasingly becoming important because of what's happening in the world of quantum physics and what, what's being discovered. Uh, and we'll get into that, too, for sure. Uh, <clears throat> but I think a, a true discussion of metaphysics and what all of that means is is something for another series of, of, of episodes, and I want to continue to talk about new thought. They sort of dovetail together, uh, but uh, basically, again, metaphysics, w w what I'm referring to generally is this idea uh, that uh, as, <coughs> as the idealisms, idealist branch of metaphysics, which says that uh, Material objects have no existence uh, except as perceived as perceptions, uh, and that everything exists as a mind and part of a mind. And you find this most, uh, you know, powerfully expressed in a lot of Eastern philosophies, such as uh, mostly Hindu philosophies is wh uh, what we're talking about. Uh, Hindu philosophy, specifically uh, Samya, which is an ancient system uh, that is sort of based on this dualism idea. And though it is strongly uh, dualist, it does uh, regard the universe in two ways, as, as existing as consciousness and as matter. And that a living being is a state in which consciousness is bonded in some form to matter. So we have that. And we have Vedanta, uh, which is expressed in the Upanishads, uh, which is a, a sacred text in, in Hinduism, um, that basically says that uh, self-awareness awareness of self or self-consciousness, as it is said, uh, is the truth of reality. It's that becoming, it's that knowing of who you are uh, above and beyond the material uh, existence. Uh, you know, in, in Western uh, terminology, we think of self-consciousness as being, you know, kind of uh, shy and aware of, uh, you know, uh, afraid to be oneself. Um, this has a very different kind of meaning. It's more along the lines of self-realization, reali realizing who and what you truly are. <clears throat> so much of what I think we talk to about uh, when we're talking about metaphysics in modern day uh, life has to do with that. And that's kind of what I'm referring to uh, as well. But I think that's a subject that we should definitely delve into in later episodes. But uh, right now, um, I want to get back to our new thought discussion because I know that that's of interest to a lot of people. Um, but I just wanted to uh, bring a, a news item up that um, just came up to my attention. Uh, and it, I, you know, the reason I wanted to share it is because it really, I think it really shows the kind of... Um, the kind of conflicts, the kind of concerns that we are, you know, rapidly moving into uh, in our society, things that you would more associate with a, a science fiction novel than you would with reality, but this is really happening. So this has to do with, uh, as you know, uh, <clears throat> Congress and particularly the Republicans in Congress are busily trying to dismantle um, the health care uh, plan that was created under Obama and uh, make some changes to it. Uh, and part and parcel of this process, although it's a completely separate bill, uh, 